five, four, three, two, one. If we could listen to one another as closely as Pine Gap listens to the world, maybe we wouldn't need Pine Gap. So Rudy is based on observations I've made since I've had the good fortune of meeting with current and former agents. Hackett Lang and some of the Chinese in town reading our personal file. The way that I d decided to bring Ethan to the screen is basically you think to yourself, okay, what they do here, they are keeping an eye on a vast area of the world and what they would tell themselves is, we are maintaining peace in the world. They've got a really rough chick who's sitting here who gets to swear a lot and smoke and carry on playing the deputy head of a facility of Pine Gap and that's kind of interesting. Loose lips sink ships. Hopefully not the Bartlett. Not bloody funny. Jacob Kiddo is very good at his job and very bad at people. He tries to approach people like he approaches his job, which means he doesn't get invited to barbecues. Conventional and nuclear-powered naval vessels. Any sign, the PLA is getting ready for action. And I've been able to observe qualities of character that I think are consistent. Uniformly enigmatic people, very direct people, the power of the gaze. It's well-educated, experts in their field and broadly knowledgeable. If I miss something, somebody could die. If I give somebody the wrong information, that could have repercussions all over the world. It's a very, very hard place to be. I don't know how I would do it. Okay, that's enough. Because people want to see reflected back relationships. They want to see elements of themselves up there on the screen. And that's where this is great too. We have love interests, we've got jealousies, we've got divorces going on. There's this very human element behind it as well. I'm not sure that um, the people who run Pine Gap are particularly worried about what we're going to be saying or doing, but I hope our reimagined version of their world entertains them as much as it has us to make it. Mm -hmm.